one that's not go finish these people are not tired of uh, using the populace they gathered in grand community to perpetuate other things even using the name of god for it now i need you to listen to this thing elder statesman have said and just make your judgment and just make your judgment he is trying to use the audience he gathered in grand community to do other businesses he knows that this grant has problem and is assuring people that they will be grant and he is moving further to be a grant handler other people have not disbursed their grant is on the pipeline and he is struggling to put his head to be a grant handler guys i want you to listen to this god bless you you are hearing the voice of uh, your elder states person your daddy uh, reverend dr bartholomew agbochano how are you all doing today my greetings to all of you across boards those uh, who have been waiting for our hope and are tired and are keeping quiet and uh, they don't want to say anything they are almost giving up it is not your fault only what i advise you to do if you are discouraged and you are on the verge of giving up don't discourage other people yes don't discourage other people just keep it to yourself <laughs> even if you have lost to hope still remain under the shadow of the elder states person all of us may not have equal fate but the issue there is if you no longer have faith in what is going on and you decide to discourage people and you bring all these to my platforms that is when you will have an issue with me if you are discouraged because of all the journeys we have been through no problem but just keep your discouragement to yourself don't discourage others and even if you would discourage others don't bring it to my platforms to discourage others and those of you that still believe in me congratulations to you you know it is a gift it is a gift for somebody to trust people most especially after a lot of experiences a lot of sad experiences and you still have a place in your heart that you can still trust somebody like myself it is a gift don't underrate it but i make bold to tell you that there will be light at the end of the tunnel this is reverend dr bartholomew agbochen talking to you i'm not doing any other thing this is what i am doing to make you happy and there is green light i don't want to say so many things uh, i was following some people before i never knew the road but now i have known the road i have gotten the connections and i am pursuing the dream the food will soon be done and will be put on the table so if you have places in your heart to trust me you are in a good place and i want to tell you that that is a gift that is a gift even when so many people feel discouraged and you are not discouraged it is a gift keep it up and most especially as i'm telling you boldly now that that gift will fetch you food keep on god bless you the work is ongoing as many of you as are praying for me your prayers are receiving attention i make bold to tell you god bless you now while we are waiting for what we are waiting for there is another information i would like to bring on the pathway of people who are christians the loans and the grants that we are pursuing 
We have the Christians among among us. We have the Muslims among us. We have idol worshippers among us. We have free thinkers among us. We have atheists among us. All of you are in the grand colony. And all of you looking forward for grant and loans. But this information now that I want to bring to you are purely for those who are Christians. And not only those who are Christians, those who are called. If you know you are a Christian and you are called by God, and you know within yourself, that the Holy Spirit is living in you. And you know within yourself that when Christ comes now, you will go with him. This information is for you. This information is for you. We have a partner from the United States of America by name Thomas Cunningham. By name, Thomas Cunningham. This man has re received a vision for Africa. He's not an African man. He has received a vision for Africa. What is that vision? Restoring purpose for Nigeria. He is aware of the way things are going in Nigeria. He is aware of the politics in Nigeria. He is aware of the hardship in Nigeria. And he has come to understand that the politics and the hardship in Nigeria is affecting the mandate of God amongst those whom God has chosen. Yes. And you, that you are a child of God, you know that this is happening. A lot of Christians, they have dropped their cause, not purposely. There are some people, hardship has made them to drop the call. This man is coming to, rest, to restore the purpose. He's coming to restore the purpose. If you are somebody that have been called, you have opened a church before and you have closed the church down because of financial hardship. It is for your peoples, this man is coming. And you have a call of God. You don't know how to go about it. Right inside of you, you are saved. You are born again. And you have the plan to do the work of God. You don't know how to go about it because you are crippled by finances. It is for your peoples this man is coming. What is the date of his coming? First, second, seventh, and eighth of October. About seven weeks away from now, he is coming to Africa. And he is coming to hold the program at National Christian Center in Abuja. Here. Yeah. He is coming to have the program at National Christian Center in Abuja here. Yeah. The President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Ahmed Bola Tinibu, will be a guest at that program. And you are invited for that program. First and second will be for him to unveil his vision. Then seventh and eighth, the date may change, I don't know. Seventh and eighth, he will engage every individual that has problem, financial problem, whatever kind of problem that you have. 
this man Thomas E. Cunningham is one of our brethren that God has blessed and he has decided to direct his blessings for the furtherance of the gospel. So this is an opportunity for as many as God has called. I don't want to be too detailed about it. It's an opportunity for as many as God has called. What do you need to do to be part of this move? What do you need to do? Two things. We have created a platform for as many as are Christians called by God. Even if you are not a pastor and you have the mind to go into pastoral work. Even if you have not been doing evangelism and you have the call to go into evangelical work. Even if you are working and you want to leave your work and move into the work of God in whatever dimension. If your own is not even evangelism, it is not pastoring, but it is going to the mountain to pray for revival to come to Nigeria, you can be sponsored into doing this. I am going to drop the link to the platform that we have created. People are already on that platform. I'm on that platform. I am an admin on that platform. The anchor person that this man is using is called Professor Kuku. He's called Professor Kuku. He's an international person. He met with me at my office in Abuja yesterday, and we put plans together. We want to work to prepare people before this man comes. So, when I drop the link to that platform, join the platform because further information I will be dropping, we will be dropping, I and that Professor Kuku will be working to drop those informations there. This is the first and the last time I am dropping information concerning this program on my general platforms. I'm dropping you so that my children that God has called and have one challenge or the other, soccer is coming for you. So when I drop the link, join that group. Join that group. What we are waiting for may come before October, that time. Or it may come after that time. I'm not giving you date yet. If it does not come before that time and this man comes and you are a Christian, because you will be profiled, you will be examined. It is not a, a place that everybody in here, because since I'm involved, you know how thorough I am. We will examine you, we will interview you. All those information will come later. What I am after is people who are genuine, who are genuinely called by God to do the work of God. Help is coming for you to help you in doing that work conveniently. Thank you so very much. After this, uh, uh, VN, I will drop the link. When I drop the link, click on the link and join that platform. That platform uh, is uh, uh, for people in diaspora. When you join that platform, then more other information you will get. God bless you. And as for what we are waiting for, keep on praying. Work is ongoing. Good morning.